Charlie. Hi, good morning. Say Merry it. Christmas and a Happy New Year. Yeah, I'm glad you could join us for this year's Christmas, Scott. Happy Holidays. We are going to talk about some of the questions that you guys sent over about the holidays and what we're doing this year as a growing family of four. And I thought we'd get right into your questions. Well, family of five. Webster, can you say hi? Hi! 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 Can you hi! Say? Webster, speak! Speak! Hi. <laughs> speak! Speak! Okay, speak! Okay, good job. Speak! Dave, it's okay. So, you guys sent in so many questions, so I'm gonna narrow it down to five, just so this isn't the longest hi. video in the history of videos. You sit with Webster. Um, but, question number one. Dave and I are just going to answer these together. But what are your favorite holiday traditions and what traditions do you plan to start with Charlie? I'll get us started. So um, growing up, my mom used to always read us the book, The Polar Express on Christmas Eve um, every single year. And so we're going to grab a copy of The Polar Express now that Charlie's more into books and loves it. And I'll be reading them and maybe, well, definitely the new baby to um, The Polar Express the night before Christmas. And I love, my family always watched It's a Wonderful Life on Christmas Eve, which is a tradition that I love. And now one of my traditions I love too. Yeah, I um, cry every time. <laughs> and then Christmas Day is just kind of, we wake up early and make breakfast and open presents. And it's just like a really slow day, which I love. But obviously our holidays are kind of transitioning as we start our own family. Um, but some of the traditions we want to implement with <laughs> Yeah. With Charlie is Charlie's obsessed with trains, so Dave really wants to have a train set go around our Christmas tree. We will have a train set go around the Christmas tree, and we really want to cut down our own Christmas tree. Um, we're into the real trees, so hopefully making that like a yearly tradition would be fun. And that sounds wonderful. Um, favorite gifts to give and receive. What's your favorite gift that I've ever given you? Oh. Charlie. Okay, that's that was nice, but seriously. I made him though. <laughs> um, favorite gifts to give and receive. But what's your favorite gift that I've ever given you? Hi, Charlie. Like a watch. Was yeah. that for Christmas? Your Shinola briefcase was a good gift. Mm -hmm. Like one that you use a lot. Um, Webster, can you sit up? One of my favorite gifts that you've ever given me. I like weird things. Charlie. Like vacuums. Um, oh, is this live? Yeah. Mean, could this be used? So, um, my favorite gifts to get um, are always like functional stuff. Like I'm so bad at Christmas gifts because I always, when I need something, I go buy it. But I do love getting like a nice, Liz's got me a nice briefcase or watch or something that I get to wear and use, you know, almost every day. So I love getting gifts like that. And then obviously giving gifts is always hard. I'm feel like I'm terrible at it, but it's always fun when you know someone loves it as soon as they open it and then you see them using it or wearing it, you know, weeks and months to follow. Um, Charlie. Christmas. <laughs> I feel like my favorite gifts to give and receive are, obviously when I'm giving something, I feel like I really want to make sure that it's maybe something that the person wouldn't necessarily buy for themselves, but I know that they would love. Um, or like adding my style to their style. Um, I feel like they're always appreciative of that. Otherwise, I always like to get things that I don't buy for myself, like a new pair of slippers that I need or like really nice gloves. <laughs> what else? Charlie, what do you like? How do you balance time with your extended families around the holidays? Um, that can be really hard, but like all of my family is back in Michigan. Ouch, ouch. Okay, okay. Is Let's back in Michigan. Right. So when we are back there, we're always bouncing around from house to house, and it feels like, you know, an all day event when you are two hours at this house, then two hours at this house, and two hours at this house. It's exhausting going home where it's nice that Liz's parents are so close that when we do go over there, um, we're able to just put the whole day you know, with the family where we can just relax and eat all day and drink all day and have But a our usual routine, or usually around Thanksgiving, we spend um, time with Dave's family in Michigan, and then we spend Christmas with my family, um, usually up at my farm in Wisconsin or 
I don't know, plans just like change when you get older. We're still trying to figure it out. And now that we have our own family like starting celebrating the holidays at our own home. Um, but this year is a little different because my due date is literally the day after Thanksgiving. So we're just kind of- I'm predicting the 20th. Fingers crossed. So it'll be a different kind of holiday this year. But it's first Thanksgiving in our new house, which we're excited about. Yeah, and it might excited. be our first Christmas in our new house too. Since I know. We'll see how the baby's doing after one month. I know. Okay, next one. Favorite holiday or Christmas movie? Christmas Vacation. I watch three times every year at least. Like weekly, I feel like we watch yeah. that. Um, my favorite, one of my all-time favorites is White Christmas. That was with a good Bing one. Crosby. I made Dave watch that for the first time I've never last seen it. year. Another one that made me cry. Um, it's a Wonderful Life, obviously. It's a Wonderful Life is the best Christmas movie. Yeah. I mean, I love Christmas Vacation because of the humor and Clark Griswold's the best <laughs> and Uncle Eddie and all that. But um, It's a Wonderful Life is amazing. Such a good story. Um, I mean, I like love, love actually in the holiday cheesy Hallmark movies. You know, you can't beat, can't beat Christmas movies. Favorite charitable ways to give back over the holidays. Um, I, for the past couple years, went to a uh, soup kitchen, or a like packing facility, I guess it's not a soup kitchen, where everyone donates all their food and then we go work a half a day and pack up boxes and scan food and make sure it's um, within, you know, it hasn't expired and there are any recalls on it or anything and then it gets packed up and shipped off to help families. So, um, I think we'll try to do that again this year. It's a little more hectic with baby number two, but we should be able to schedule that. Um, and then just giving back in other various ways we can. I feel like we're always like seeing an organization that we love um, and donating randomly here and there throughout the year. But my family, when I was growing up every year, we adopted a family for Christmas. And, and that's something that I think we should start as a family. You know, even if it's just donating yeah, you just hundred dollars or a used buy some gifts or get some gifts that Charlie's no longer using. Can you say hi? It feels so good to give back to to anybody and everybody, no matter what they need, how how big or small. It it just feels good around the holidays. But especially, I that's something that we want to implement into our kids from a young age. So definitely now that Charlie is understanding what's going on. So anyways. That's that, you guys. Clearly, Happy we can't do this for very long. Merry Christmas. But um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks for following us. I know you, you guys. guys are the best. Bye. Now it's time for some questions for Dave. After hours. <laughs> What's that? Bubble, 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 bubble